Hello, welcome to handsonscp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about implementation guide views. So, you know by now what implementation guide is. It's a tool from SAP that helps you configure the SAP system. Okay. Now, there are three views to IMG, namely SAP Reference IMG, Enterprise IMG, and there could be more than one project IMGs. Okay. So, what is SAP reference IMG this view comes with the system okay so it lists setup steps for all the processes for all SAP modules so this is like a Bible uh, reference IMG okay now you don't need all the modules and all the business processes for your company okay your scope of implementing SAP is limited so what you do is you generate enterprise IMG from SAP reference IMG okay so it's generated from SAP reference IMG enterprise IMG contains all business processes that are relevant to your organization okay and of course you specify if any country specific business processes are required as well so your enterprise IMG would contain only those business processes that you need okay now there would be multiple projects that could go on in an organization to implement the overall scope of uh, the SAP so what you do is you can create more than one project IMGs they are created by the project managers or team leads so you can divide the work among three different project managers or team leads so they can create their own project IMGs now they are subsets of enterprise IMG they contain modules and business processes that are part of these respective projects okay now they serve as project management and documentation tools you can export your project tasks to Microsoft project for detailed project management okay so that's pretty much it uh, about the IMG views so SAP reference IMG contains all business processes for all the modules enterprise IMG contains uh, only those business processes that your company needs and you can create multiple project IMG so each project IMG would contain only those business processes that are part of that particular project okay so that's pretty much it and I see you in my next tutorial